from guide. So on today's video, we are going to learn how to calculate some important parameters in broiler production, such as feed conversion ratio, expected weight of a broiler chicken, expected feed or amount of feed of a broiler chicken. That is how much feed in kilogram a certain number of broiler will consume with the majority. Let's say it is six weeks, seven weeks, or eight weeks. So stay tuned and write back. So welcome back. As I said earlier, we're going to learn how to calculate some important parameters in broiler production. Please do endeavor to watch the end. So let's get down to business. The first one we have here is what you call average daily gain. The average daily gain, how much weight a broiler will gain on a daily basis. It is, the acronym is ADG. It simply means the rate of weight gain per day over a certain period of time. And it is simply calculated as weight gain all over number of days. Then for you to get weight gain is equal to final weight in the most initial weight. You can bring your product on day 1, you can weigh 40 and on day 7 you can weigh 170. From this question now, from this question, if a sheep weighs 40 grams on day 1 and later weighs 170 grams on day 7, what is its average daily gain weight? So to calculate that, you simply use average daily gain, which is weight all over the number of days. For you to get the weight gain, you might know the initial weight from the final, final weight, that is final weight, which is 170 grams, then initial weight, which is what? 40 grams, so to give you 130 grams. For you to get the average daily gain, 130 on 18.57 grams, so on a daily basis, for the first seven days, the broiler chicken will add 18.57 grams. That is for average daily gain. So the next one we're going to discuss is the feed conversion ratio, known as FCR. So what is feed conversion ratio? The feed conversion ratio is defined as the amount of feed needed to increase the animal's body weight by one kilogram. Every livestock has their own feed conversion ratio. For poultry, the range is normally between 1.7 to 2.0. The lower, the better. Anything that is above 2, approaching 2, is becoming negative. So, the range between 1.7 to 2.0. So how do you calculate for feed conversion ratio? Feed conversion ratio is calculated using the inputs, the amount of food you give in the cumulative amount of feed given to a period of time all over the weight gain. As you can see, cumulative feed intake, that is feed given from a specific amount of time to a specific amount of time. Maybe feed given from the 1 to the 28 or the uh, 35, depending on the number of days, the weeks you want to stop your polar production. So, the weight gain, we have learned how to calculate the weight gain previously. So, FCR is between 1.7 to 2.0, and then the lower the better. For example, a certain brand of feed meal claims the following, claim the following. kilogram you give to kg broiler weight after 35 days. That is, a certain brand of feed claims that you give their feed to, the, to your brother in 35 days, it will gain 2 kg, 2 kg, which is very good. In 35 days, when giving 3.5 kg of their feed. So, for you to calculate the FCR, if this is quite efficient, so you use the formula cumulative feed intake all over weight gain. For the question, the weight gain is 2 kg, and the cumulative feed is. 3.5, which will give you divided by 2, will give you 1.7. 1.7 is a good, uh, a good feed conversion ratio. What is left for you now is to test the feed out. I know it will give you uh, what it has claimed that it can do. So, these parameters are very important when you talk about broader production. But the two main goals of broader production is feed conversion ratio and the uh, broiler weight gain. These are the two 
major goods of any farmer in the broader production cycle. It's rolling now. So the next is I started weight of your broiler chicken per week. So as you can see, this table how is made for male and female broiler chickens. We have from the one to nine because the weight of the broiler chicken for male, the native feet, the for female, one weight, the native feet from one to nine, this is the one to go. No uh, few meeting as you can see in the one. So I'm going to use this table, this same table, to estimate the amount of feed a certain amount of oil should consume at a particular time. Okay, for instance, you have 100 dollars. How much feed will 100 dollars consume in 8 weeks? So let's estimate the amount of feed 100 dollars will consume using that table. I showed you earlier. Okay? So as usual, I don't maybe I don't give my brother chicken grow up. Some people do, but I just start with start out match for chicks. Then I end with finisher. The first four weeks for starter and then from five to eight weeks for finisher. That's how I do my production, product production. Everybody has what work for them. So let's get down to business. So for starter from which Four, look at the table. Four for male and female. The cumulative fee is 202 for male, five for female is 1825 gram for female. You look for the average, the average will give you 1922.5 grams. This is the video of consume from the one to the four. Starter match. 1922.5 grams of starter match. So, one sheet will consume 192.5 grams of starter mash. What will 100 beds consume? 100 beds will consume, you multiply by 100, it will be 102,250 grams. So, how much will 100 brother consume? If one brother consume 192.5, how much will 100 brother consume? On the brow, we consume 192,250 grams. We divide it by 1,000 to convert to kilograms. We divide by 1,000, we have 192.25 kg. So, 100 grams we consume 192.25 kg in four weeks. For the first four weeks, that is 100 dollars. To convert to bags, in Nigeria, we use 25 kg for uh, chicken feet. To go back to bags, you have to divide it by 25. By two, by two five. So you have uh, you divide it, you have approximately 8 bags. So, 100 people will consume approximately 8 bags of starter mash for the first 4 weeks. That is for starter. Then, for the next 4 weeks, that is from 5 to 8, you look for the average relative feed intake for male and female. At it for brother, for male, we have a 7400. For female, we have 6900. We have 7150. So, 7150 is the cumulative feed intake of your brother chicken from 1 to 8. One now, what is the cumulative feed intake? How can you calculate the cumulative feed intake from 5 to 8? So, since you are talking about the cumulative feed, the average cumulative feed intake from the one to the eight. You have to minus the cumulative feed intake from, of, from one to four, from the one to four. That is, at four weeks, the cumulative feed intake, you minus it from the cumulative feed intake uh, of uh, eight weeks, the total production. You have to minus it to get the cumulative feed intake from the five to the eight. To get that, the minus the average cumulative feed intake for me and me as it takes is 17150. So 7150 minus cumulative feed intake, average cumulative feed intake as before, this is 192.5 to give you 527.5. So the cumulative feed intake for from 5 to 8 is 527.5. 
Bye-bye.